Hi everybody, welcome to a new video about .NET MAUI. Most people are probably using .NET MAUI for mobile development, building apps for iOS and Android. But .NET MAUI can also be used for desktop apps. And in this video, I will focus on one thing that can be really important when you're building apps. I will build a menu customized for desktop. So everything I show in this video regarding the menu will only be visible on desktop. You don't have to remove the code for mobile, but it will only render a menu when you run it on desktop, on Windows or on Mac OS. So let's open Visual Studio and I will show you how to create a desktop menu. So here we have Visual Studio. And when I'm recording this video, I'm running Visual Studio inside of Parallels. So this is my Mac and I run it in incoherence mode. So this is like a Mac window for me. This video is not sponsored by Parallels, but if you're thinking about buying Parallels and want to support this channel, please use the link in the video description. So let's continue. So here I have created a new .NET MAUI project. It's just from the empty template. So we have a content page here and we can run the app so you can see how it looks right now. So we started here on our Windows machine. So here we have the app. And as you can see, we don't have any menu. But for this app, I want to add a menu like I have here in Visual Studio with file, edit, view, git, project, and so on. And that is pretty simple to do with .NET MAUI. So let's do that. So here on the content page, we have a property called menu bar items. And that is collection. So we can add multiple menu bar items here. So let's go and add a first one file, for example, because that used to be the first menu options in a menu bar like this. So menu bar item text file just like that and now if we open up the app and you can see that we have added it but we don't have any content to it so we go and add that and for that we will use menu bar fly out items so text new for example like that and now we can see we have a new option here and if we want something to happen when we click on that option, so we can say click and tie it to an event or we can bind it to a command if we prefer to use that approach with data bindings. So let's skip that for now and we can add another one. And if we want this type of menu item, as we have on open here, that we can have more options, we can also do that. And in that case, we use menu, fly out sub items and text open, for example. And now we can add a menu fly out item, item to that. For example, text open from computer. And we can do open from cloud like that. Now we have two options, sub options for the open menu items, just like that. And we can also add a separator here if we want to. Menu fly out separator. And then we can add a last item, menu, menu fly out item, text, exit. So now we have one of those menu bar items and we can add another one. So like menu bar items, text, edit, for example. And then we can continue to add more items like this. So if we take a look now how it looks, we have file, we have edit. But you maybe want to add some keyboard shortcuts or keyboard accelerators to this menu. And as you can see, I can also call the project keyboard accelerator because I want to show that. So we can bind those menu items pretty easy to a keyboard combination. So we can press Control N for new, for example. And that is, as I said, really simple. So we do that. So then we go to the new option here 
and we close that one and then we use a property inside of menu flyout item called keyboard accelerators and here we can add a keyboard accelerator like modifier we can say alt command control shift windows let's say control and key n then we can use that for new to prove that this work we will also add a clicked event handler here so we do that clicked and we can use that event handler that i've already created and we go to the code behind and we set a breakpoint here and then we run the app again and try it out and now if we open the file menu we also can see that we have an indicator here for the key accelerator so i close this menu and then i go and press ctrl n and then we hit the breakpoint and we can do whatever we want so the last thing we will do in this video is show how this will look on mac so i will open up the same project in visual studio code so here we have the same project but open in visual studio code on my mac so then we go and see what the bug what the bug target we have so i so i have my mac as a debug target then we can go and run this project so here we have the mac app in dark mode because i have dark mode on my machine but as you can see we don't have any many options here because that is not how a Mac app work. Instead, you have them up here. And here we can see we have new, we have open, we have exit, and some options that you always have there on uh, Mac. Uh, it seems like the separator is not working on Mac right now. So hopefully that will be fixed coming version of .NET MAUI. But we have all the options here. We have uh, format view windows also defaults for all Mac apps. And as you also can see, we have the keyboard accelerator here. So we can go and set the breakpoint even here on Visual Studio Code. Main page sample at CS. We have the event handler here. So we set the breakpoint there. Go back to the app and press Ctrl M. And we will hit the breakpoint. So that is how desktop menus works with .NET MAUI. It's pretty simple. Or what do you think? If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel if you don't already do that and click the like button and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.